Hi, it's Larry again uh, from NWA Biogreen Solutions. We're back here. Um, I got a gentleman that we sold some machines to, and he wanted to know how to change the plates. We've designed these machines so that they can be uh, worked on uh, out on the road uh, if they break down. Now, I've already done a video on changing transformers. Now, I'm going to show you how to do the plates. Um, it's not complicated. We've got, what you're going to need is a fine tip and a screw gun here and we're going to take off uh, this front plate right here with all the grates in it. We'll just back them up a little bit here. And then we're going to take the front front plate off here. You don't have to take the screws out all the way. Just get them out enough so that uh, it clears. And we're going to show you. I'm going to leave this top screw in first and get all these other ones out here so that I can hold it. And one more and this is good. And we'll just lay this aside like that. I've already taken the two screws off over here. I got two more to take over here, and then we're going to be able to expose our plates. The only tools you're going to need to do this, like I said, is a screw gun. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver with a fine tip on it, and just a little kitchen paring knife. Now we're going to take this off, and we're, now we've exposed our plates. Now, Dave, our builder, he, he uh, added, some, added these bars in because we were having problems when these uh, machines were being shipped. UPS was just beating the heck out of them. And what was happening is these plates were shifting. So Dave come up with this. He put a new uh, uh, a piece of plastic on here with these rubber screw or plastic screws. And we're going to show you just how easy. Now, that was just two pieces we took off there. I guess there was about ten screws. Each one of these bars has three plastic screws or nylon screws on them. Now we're going to take this top piece off and this will expose. Once we get them all out here. Now we're finding out that uh, these plates are collecting an awful lot of humidity. Uh, they're starting to corrode. Uh, I've been changing, going to change my plates about every 300 hours. Uh, I'm finding that uh, around, if you get around the bottom here, you'll see they're picking up moisture. Now this is how easy these plates are to change. I got a, just a, a regular old kitchen knife right here. I'm just going to put it in here and just turn it a bit and you pop it right out. Take your new plate, stick it right back, back in. Now, when you want to change your bottom, uh, you're, if you're going to change all the plates, maybe just one plate went out. And they just stick right back in like that. Uh, maybe the back plate is out. So what you're going to want to do when you do that, say you're going to change all your plates. Which I, I would recommend, like I said, do it every 300 hours. So you've already collected about $10,000 on this machine. You're going to put $80 back in to put plates in. So what you do is take the full top row out. Then behind there, you've got three more plastic screws holding to separate these. That's why Dave put this, these pieces in. This is going to keep them all separated so the plates don't touch each other. Or it also helps, and it also helps with the, the shipping process. So then when you put it back in, you've got this all lined up. There's your three screws, three open screw holes right there. Now we're going to just, you know, pretend that we changed all the plates. I'm sure you can pick that up. We're just going to put this back on. Get it all lined up. Then after we do that, we don't have to go through the whole thing. Then I'm just going to take and I'm going to put this plate back on. After that's on, just take our cover. You got one, two, three, four screws holding that on. Done deal. Now that's that's pretty easy. You can you can change all your plates, and I would say I can do it in probably 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, if you just got one plate that's broke. Uh, these are ceramic plates. They are brittle. Uh, every once in a while we've run across where, where one is broken somehow. I don't know. Uh, but now that Dave's got this new design, it just they're 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 just holding together now and they're not they're not shifting around. So then we can we just continue to improve our product uh, every day. Uh, we're working on it. So anyways, I hope this helps you out. Uh, have a good day now, and this will this will be up and running on YouTube very soon. And it'll be also on our website on the how to. And uh, we're going to keep post, keep everybody posted on how we're doing. Hey, y'all have a great day now. Thanks. Bye.